So, let's start Friday the 16th of November 2018. Time of 7.32, it's light. There's the river, and yes, I can see swans. There's the bridge, the car park. I have to go across the bridge, carry straight on, and because the swans is a hotel, it's open. I don't know if the bar's open though. Right, and they might have been in Frizzle overnight. Who knows? Anyway, the spoons to start. I'd say about five minutes. Okay, so the river, I'm verging on it's the seven, not the even. <laughs> I need to look at Google Maps, or Apple Maps, or a map. Anyway, the crown, where the spoons, open from seven, as it's a hotel. Okay, so I'm thinking orange juice. Ah, this is quite an old building. And there are various little nooks and crannies and different places to drink and such like. I'm upstairs. I think we're going to turn the telly on until the bar opens. Mind you, bad light, calling. Um, anyway, went downstairs. Bar opens at nine place opens at 7 because it's actually a hotel. Lancaster Blonde, 4% alcohol by volume. I think I'm a bit croaky. Uh, I'm also rather full because of um, Premier Inn, all you can eat full English, amongst other things. Mm. Multi spicy. Hint of bitterness. B plus. It's good, it's well presented. I don't say it's nothing special, but hmm, spicy bitter finish. Still B plus. Well they haven't formally announced vote in no confidence. The chief whip has said clear all your appointments. See, not going on. Anyway, um, tea, traditional English ale, 4.2% hogs back. A traditional name. One ninety-nine a pint, Mr. Manning. Or a carpet. Mm. Malty. And really rather spicy. A little bit too sweet for me, maybe. It's well made. And there's a hint of bitterness. Bit of spiciness in the finish. It's a B plus. Very nicely presented. Cut the leaf by Wimbledon. 4% by... 4% by... 4% alcohol by volume. It says... Tropical spice and rye. We shall see. Okay, so I'm going to finish this one. I'm going to wander over to the Firefly. Yeah, very tropical. Mmm. Fruity, tropical. Not very much spice. Alright. But that is very nice. Definitely B plus in a bit. Well done, Wimbledon. Ten peg by cask. Seems like a plan. And human. It's the fire flight. It's a head of it. Oh no, music. Take that. However, on the screen, and top 35 venue. So when I check in, it just appears over there. Yeah, same menu as in Hereford. Anyway, if this is. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, siren? Hang on. I've got to set my face here. Rising Tides IPA. Seasonal rye IPA bursting with tropical fruits and berries. I'm thinking. Yeah. Plus. We would, Mr. Manning. We would. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Strong, fruity, tropical. 
job. And more strength. B plus plus. Number two, Crystal Pale Ale from Yorkshire, 4% alcohol by volume. I'm going to be honest, you can't get it here, but my father card is on my screen. That's that blue thing in the centre of the screen. Mr. Manning. Hoppy. Bitter. Yeah. Did I say 4% alcohol by volume? But it's nice. I think it'd be pleasant a bit. Just a bit of a session here. We, more correctly, I am going Norwegian. This is from a London brewery. As you say, it's called Inkendaga. Um, the whole top comes off the can and it's can conditioned. It smells hoppy. 6.5% alcohol by volume, it's not messing around. Ooh! It's fruity, not overly fruity. Drinkable alcohol is well hidden. Oh, music, take down. I'm going to give it a B. Thank you, Norway. Okay, so this is going to be a live tasting. This is a collab, Culture Shock by Riverside Brew Co. Limited from Leeds and Twisted Barrel. Also from these. Let's see how. Uh, Six point eight percent alcohol by volume. Incredibly murky. Okay, it has no wage and yeast. This is everything's Norwegian today. It smells like a fruit bomb. Mmm! Tropical, fruity, slightly complex. Again, a bit of finish. But that is rather wonderful. A plus plus. 